Hi, this is Maggie with Maggie Motivates, and I've got a Maggie moment for you about public speaking. Do you have a message? Do you have a testimony? Do you have a story? Do you have someone that you need to get up and really inspire or challenge? Or maybe you've been opted to be the person to do a roast for someone's anniversary or some sort of celebration. My question to you is, are you ready? You know, recently I had the opportunity to hear some amazing speakers and I was so encouraged. Studies show that within 30 seconds, people have already determined whether or not do they like the speaker. So for the person that's getting up there to speak, there's a lot of pressure on them within the first 30 seconds out of the gate of making an impression. You've heard the saying that the first impression is the lasting one, or you only have one first impression. So when you get up to speak, you really have to have that first impression where the audience, and I'm not talking about physical appearance, I'm talking about how do you carry yourself? Do you have the confidence? Do you have the stage presence? Or are you fumbling over your words and starting in with all the filler words like, uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, well, so all of that stuff can immediately shut someone's response down. Within one minute, they've already decided, are they even going to listen to you? And you can have the most amazing testimony. You can have the most amazing story. You can have the most amazing analogy. You can have a three-point message that will encourage and inspire the multitudes. But if you do not have the proper skills and the confidence to get it out, it just turns into something that somebody's saying. You know, words are powerful. Words are important. Words are so amazing because it's what the Lord used, what God used to create the world. He said, let there be light. You know, really, when you think about it, that's pretty powerful. If the creator of the universe used words to create the universe. So we have to be very clear with our words in regards to public speaking. As a public speaking coach, there are several things that I can help you to do. But the one thing that I inspire to do is help people overcome their fear. Fear of public speaking is way up at there with the top fears in next to spiders and snakes and things like that. It is important to be able to overcome your fears so that you can walk into your destiny. The other thing is I aspire to help you do is to... Oh no, there's a puppy in the road. Little dog, get out of the road. Stay. The other thing I aspire you to do is to be able to put together a speech. You know, our thoughts, like right now, I'm just speaking to you guys without even thinking, without a script, but our thoughts need to be weighed out. We need to know that there is a beginning, an end, and a body, just like writing a term paper. These are attributes that you want to have in your speech. So I'm here to help you be able to formulate a speech that will reach people in a way that you are comfortable presenting. And last but not least, my goal is for you to be able to present in a way where you can really engage the audience. Vocal variety, eye contact, body language, all of these things are vital. So with having a public speaking coach, it is so helpful because you have someone on your side to cheer you along. But in addition to that, you have someone to evaluate you, critique you, so to speak. And I'm not talking about criticism. I'm talking about learning to grow, learning to be the best you with the best presentation that you could possibly give. Why? Because you spent the time. So when you get up on that stage, you are so confident that you're not going, uh, and so, um, well, you know, um, no, you are up there with a bold statement, a bold presentation, the ability to be able to really engage your audience, get your point across, transpire, uh, the world with your words. It's an awesome responsibility. You know, everybody's got a story and there are so many great stories. I love 
how the Lord takes your mess and turns it into a ministry or your testing and turns it into a testimony. I'm telling you today that having a coach to help you in that area is vital. There's all kinds of things we can spend money on, but investing in your ability to get your presentation down, especially if you're a writer or if you're someone who has to get up in front of people on a regular basis in your church or whatever the case may be, the more confident you come off, the more connected your audience will be and the more your message can really impact the world. This is Maggie with Mad Maggie Motivates. Check me out on maggiemotivates.com. Share this, hit like, and have a great day.